So when it comes to your own backyard flock, there's really three ways I know of to get baby chicks. Uh, the first is to go to the feed store and buy them in the spring. The second is to get an incubator and put fertilized eggs and inside and hatch them yourself. And then the third method, which we're going to be talking about today, is to put eggs underneath a broody hen and let her do the, the hatching for you. It's as simple as it gets. <laughs> So this hen stopped laying about four days ago and uh, put her into the broody coop. She's showing good signs of broodiness where she's defensive, she protects the nest. And so now I've, I've taken, um, there's seven eggs here and hopefully these have all been fertilized by our, our dutiful rooster. Now if you're just interested in raising chickens to get eggs, you don't need a rooster. Those hens will lay eggs without a rooster. However, if you're interested in raising chicks, you gotta make sure you've got a good rooster that's diligent and doing his job. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, we're gonna put these underneath the hen all in the same day. That tendency to sit on the nest after laying a clutch of eggs called broodiness, it's been bred out of most breeds of chickens. So a chicken will lay a clutch of eggs, say 10, and then uh, for a couple days she doesn't lay and she all of a sudden resets and uh, begins laying another clutch of eggs without the instinct to actually sit on them. But occasionally though, and certain breeds are better than others, you'll get a hen that goes broody. And after she lays a clutch of eggs, she'll want to sit on the nest and begin incubation. And you can actually uh, put eggs underneath her of, of any of the chicken eggs that are fertilized and begin incubation all at the same time so let's take these seven eggs, put them underneath these broody hens, and this will become day one on our calendar. I'm just gonna tuck them underneath her. She's a little defensive. Sometimes I can set an egg out in front of her and she'll roll it back underneath herself. Ah. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take and put some, some chicken feed in her coop along with some water. By putting these in, in the, the broody hen we're also keeping the other chickens away. If we didn't put all this stuff inside of a small coop the other hens would come and clean all this food out in one day. But now that it's locked in the, the broody coop everything is there for her. She's got her own privacy and now we just need to give her 21 days and hopefully we get some chicks to hatch. Well here's egg number one. It's not looking very good. Here it is with the lights on. You can see it's a nice leghorn egg, white egg. But when we candle it, we've got our cell phone light going. That's not looking good at all. Essentially we're just seeing the yolk in there. Darn it, that one doesn't look too good. Let's do another one. Okay. On the bottom, that's the air sac. You can see that, that clear, that line between dark and light. That air sac's on the bottom and all this dark up in here looks great. There's veins in there, blood vessels where there's life. Today at work, I got a call from my family and uh, today is day 21 and they came out to the broody coop and they could hear chicks peeping underneath the hen. Let's check it out. Here's our beautiful Buff Orpington hen. She's been sitting faithfully on this nest for 21 days. She's really thinned down, but uh, she's done her job well and she's hatched some chicks. They're underneath her right now. We know that at least three have hatched. She'll sit on this for a while longer and see if maybe one or two more hatch. Okay, here's an old piece of shell from underneath the hen. This was one of the, the blue uh, Easter egg layers or Aracana eggs. This one hatched. Excellent. Let's get that out of there. Let's see one of the chicks. I can hear them. Oh, that's 
beautiful. Holy crud, that's a nice looking chick. That is great. It's real warm. Wow. That is something just hatched today. Let's see her tuck it back underneath herself. Oh, it's crawling back underneath mom. Oh, good. She kind of tucks it underneath. Keeps it nice and warm. Okay, you can see the inside of the eggshell here. There's two different eggshells. Oops. There's two different eggshells. This blue one from one of the Easter egg layers, they call them. You can see inside where that chick was. Turn this one over. Dried up inside of that egg. That's just amazing. They've been in there for 21 days and they pipped out today and hatched. Yeah, there's one peeking out right there. Oh, and over here too. <laughs> Cool. This is really exciting. Mother hen does all the work. You don't have to worry about the, the incubator getting unplugged or the power going out. We tried incubating some eggs last year and on about day 11 the power went out and we had a storm. We lost them all. But with mother hen, that's not an issue. Alright, well here's mother hen with the four chicks that hatched. Um, we had one other egg that looked promising, but it didn't hatch. So we got four out of seven. That's pretty darn good odds. Pretty good success. Just noticed there's a beak sticking out right here above her wing. That chick has crawled in right next to mom and has nestled between her wing and her body. No better place to keep warm. Right after the chicks hatch, I like to get mom and the chicks out in the field and get them eating some natural vegetation and insects. It's great. That protein for those little baby chicks. But uh, we also like to put out a little bit of chick starter from the feed store and a small waterer for them uh, just so they can have the best of both worlds. Here's a mother hen with her chicks. She's out dust bathing. It's windy today. She's getting that good dust bath, getting that dirt all over her, down on her feathers to rid herself of parasites and stay clean. Chicks just stay right with her through it all. We've sprinkled some feed on the ground for them and they're foraging away with mom. It's really good for your young chicks to pick up some grit, some sand, some pebbles. Those are good for their gizzard to help them grind up that grain and that feed that they're eating. She's getting them on insects and grass. We've got a waterer right here so they can just uh, range all over our field picking up all kinds of good stuff. Kind of have to keep our eyes on the cat, although mother hen will defend. Her neck feathers come out and her wings, uh, she sticks them out and she'll go right after anything she sees as an intruder. It's just really a lot of fun to sit here and watch them each day. Mother hen is out here foraging for food. The chicks are right underneath her ready to grab any morsel that she might scratch up. Grubs, crickets, worms, spiders. Great to see these chicks out here getting some naturals. The chick right there's got a grub. <laughs> oh, it's over here now. Mom's tearing it up into pieces so the chicks can find out oh, they're fighting over it. She's finding all kinds of good stuff for them out here. Mother hen does it all. She's the heat lamp at night, keeping them warm. She teaches them how to eat. She clocks when there's food. Such a great thing to have a, a good mother hen raise your chicks. They'll be in your field doing this all day long, tilling that soil over, looking for insects and all other kinds of delicious morsels. They're great if you put them out in your garden and let them till up the soil and they're naturally fertilized while they're at it. Well whether it's domestic birds like chickens 
or wild birds like grouse, pheasants, and turkeys. It's very important for those young chicks to get on some high quality protein. Insects, worms, and grubs. It helps them to develop and grow. Here she's got a grasshopper, a flying grasshopper. She's breaking it down so those chicks can get get a hold of it and eat it. Such a big morsel for them. The eggs from your backyard chickens or farm-raised chickens are so much better than anything you'll get in the grocery store. The eggs you get in the grocery store are from chickens that sit in a box all day long in a cage. They're fed mash pellets and uh, the egg is pale yellow and just kind of drab and boring. You crack an egg from one of these chickens, it's orange, it stands up tall, it can have up to three times as many omega-3 fatty acids and uh, these birds look how tame they are. I can just pet this chicken but the eggs from a, from a farm fresh setting don't even compare to that stuff you get at the grocery store. enough like us to have an ever faithful scarecrow, he may do the job in helping to deter a few of those pesky predators. I really don't even know one way to get chicks. <laughs>